Yo, what is up guys, Colin1 here, and I'm back today bringing you another After Effects tutorial, and this is going to be on how I made this purple shining uh, sky effect in my para high t t clip edit. And uh, this can be done with any color, and it really gives it a nice effect to go along with any flashes on your beats, and it looks, looks really nice. So let's get right into this. You can see here I have an example. Um, I'm going to be showing you pretty much just how to get this effect, and one quick tip which you'll notice later is right after a trick shot especially um, when the when the screen's going black and white it really has a nice effect right here these last few frames frames look really really nice with it and it just and you can keyframe everything and it's gonna be really cool so let's just duplicate this layer for now and hide that one and delete everything so what you're gonna need here is a third-party plugin called Trapcode Shine. So you can uh, look up Trapcode Shine and download a free trial if you don't have that. And so you're gonna see originally it looks really like eerie and scary. It kind of I don't know how to explain. It. It's really weird. And the first thing I like to do is change the transfer mode to overlay. A lot of people use add, but overlay seems to work pretty nice for me. So I've been sticking with that lately. Now the thing that you need to do is colorize over here. That's where you'll be able to change the colors as the name goes. And what you want to do is leave the highlights as white, change the shadows to white as well. And now this color is what our shine is going to be. So for this tutorial I'll use my purple again. And you kind of want it in the middle of your uh, spectrum here. You don't want it too bright or too dark or else it won't look that great. I kind of put a right leading towards the higher side but pretty much in the middle and now you can see that we also have this source point keyframe you can click that and I like to do it kind of towards the left upper uh, kind of over there and it looks pretty good you could put it wherever your sky is really in the clip so for right now I might want to do it over here but as you'll notice in a bit if I were to come over here um, when he's inside you see how there's very little light source and you don't see the purple but when you come outside you see the purple really really well it's really cool um, plug-in and it makes it everything where the only where the light is purple it's not like an overlay of a, of a purple solid and it's really adaptive to the light and looks really sick so um, also sorry if my throat is a little scratchy I'm getting over a cold but anyways, um, now what you're going to want to do to keyframe this is, because I think this is a little too saturated, you see shine opacity here? If you lower that, it becomes more opaque, obviously, and it blends in really well. Also, if you think it's just too purpley, you can actually darken the color in your color, and it will reduce the amount of purple. So if we're going over for flashes, I would suggest about 85 for the flash so you can when you want it to flash if you have a beat or something just if you want it to flash right when he shoots right there you can keyframe it go probably three frames back and put it down to zero and now you don't have any shine at all and one thing to keep in mind is I've done this in a clip before, it says there's source opacity as well, I'm not sure why, but you can lower the opacity of the source. So don't uh, try not to move that, because if you do, you might be like, why is your clip darker than it should be? And that confused me at one point or another. Another thing I suggest doing is actually putting this on an adjustment layer, so I'll do that right now. You can go up to layer, new adjustment layer or you can just click alt command y or control alt y on a pc and i'll just copy everything command x command v and now if you see our keyframes right on the shot it has a shine now it doesn't look too good on a shot i prefer it more for cinematics and right here after a shot if you have some beats after the shot you can flash it when it's in twixter that looks really sick I did it in my um, 2C like that also. If we come over here after the first shot, on the beat you can see this purple shine and it looks really, really nice. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe answered some questions some of you were having about how you've seen this in some edits. And yeah, I really like this effect. I hope you do too. Thanks. See ya.